Hi, you guys. Um, okay, Ava, that's enough. What? Ava. Okay. Um, so it's it's been a while, you guys. Ava, we're we're on air right now. You can do that later, right? Sorry. <clears throat> Jeez. The mic is the wrong color. Oh, it is. Oh wait, hang on. <laughs> All right, um, uh, because you know it's it's got to match the it's got to match the right. Did did I wear this hat in the last video? I don't know. <laughs> I try not to do that. Okay, um, you fall into one of two categories. All right, you're either brand new here. Uh, in that case, welcome. This is the Mad Camper. Um, allegedly, I'm Jim. Um, it hasn't been fully adjudicated yet. Um, <laughs> I work in community corrections, and so I've, you know some of that terminology slips out. So if you're new, welcome to the channel. Um, I have pancreatic cancer. All right. So the purpose of the channel is to hopefully bring a smile to someone who might really need it today, because a lot of my viewers um, are going through treatment or they've been through treatment. So. Um, this channel, if you go back, there's a lot of silliness. And um, I'm going to try to dial that down a little bit, you guys, because I did get a comment uh, from one of you, <coughs> excuse me, um, where it's like, I appreciate the vulnerability um, as opposed to a lot of the real wackiness. Okay, so, and I appreciate that. I appreciate your honest feedback, all right? So there's, there's not going to be as much in this video all right so number two um well number one you're brand new so welcome blah 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 number two you're one of my regulars <laughs> all right uh and early on when i started doing this like eight months ago <clears throat> Excuse me, just a sec. Holy krumkaka. <laughs> Hot. Um, early on, like eight months ago, what was I saying? Oh, early on, um, you know, when I started having, you know, a handful of subscribers, we came up with a uh, nickname for people that are watching me. On a, on a regular basis, all right? So we came up with the Mad Pack, all right? So I designed this logo, and uh, so, you know, it's it's me with, you know, my viewers, like, you know, what the heck is he doing now, all right? So, um, yeah, so if you're new, when I talk about the Mad Pack, these are, um, you know, the Mad Camper, so I'll explain that too. But uh, so anyway, Mad Pack, it's been a while. Um, it's It's been a little more rough than usual lately. Um, and uh, so let me go back for people that are new. So 10 and 12 years, and those of you that have heard the story before, I'm sorry, but this is just for new new people, all right? So 10 and 12 years ago, I lost both my brother and sister. They passed away from pancreatic cancer, right? I did genetic testing. It's not genetic, all right, which I thought was really weird. But, yeah, tragic, you know, watching a loved one go through that twice, it's hard. Um, and I've talked about it. it you feel helpless because there's really not a lot you can do, right? Um, so that was hard. Actually, I lost both my parents, uh, mom to breast cancer and dad to lymphoma. So um, anyway, um, nine, how long has it been, Ava? Um, February. Yeah. So nine months ago, I was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. Um, back then, we, uh, we thought it was probably stage one because it hadn't metastasized. It hasn't, you know, spread to all my other organs. My brother and sister didn't catch it quick enough. And so I'm assuming they were stage four, all right? 
So, um, yeah, I've talked about my symptoms. Um, I'll, I'll put up, I'll put a link up here or whatever. I haven't done that before. We'll try it. But uh, where I talk about my symptoms and what to watch for. All right. <clears throat> so anyway, um, nine months ago, diagnosed, started chemo right away. Multiple CT scans, multiple MRIs. Uh, PET scans are fascinating because they inject you with, you know, radioactive, you know, stuff. And the PET scan radioactive sugar because cancer eats sugar right so the pet scan looks for where the cancer is eating this radioactive sugar in your body it's fascinating so the technology i'm, I'm a tech guy right so it kind of guy so fascinating um so but you guys the mad pack it's been a while because back then my chemo was every two weeks so I had two weeks to recover. So lately it's been uh, the last 12. Yeah, the last 12 have been every week. So three weeks on and then one week off. So three back to back every week, which gives me less time to recover, right? Um, and then back to, you know, skip a week and then three blah 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 so you guys i it's um my symptoms I, there's been one new symptom that's really kind of bugging me uh so um edema and it has to do with um well and just the reason i haven't posted for a while you guys is just i've been feeling crummy and um i'll have a i'll have a good day where i feel like i'm you know, pretty cognitive, you know, cause it does affect the chemo does affect like my mood and stuff too. So it's rare when there's a day when I feel like doing this, right. So, um, and responding to comments, I'll, I'll get back to that too. But, um, so anyway, yeah, it's been a while, but so, but just fatigue, feeling crummy and edema, which means swelling in my my feet and my ankles and that's usually caused by diabetes which is also really fun you know uh pancreatic cancer causes sometimes usually i think is what they told me causes diabetes and so when your blood sugar is high you tend to have edema the fluid in your body tends to your circulation isn't going as as strong and so fluids in your body will settle you know gravity science you know, so, um, and my shoes don't fit. So I had to go, I had to go and buy these gigantic slippers and I bought these cheap insoles just to make it, you know, a little more cushy as I'm shuffling around the house. Uh, but, uh, and so I talked to my doctor and she said, well, what you can do is just take bandages and just wrap your feet and then go up the side of your leg and what it does is it compresses you know so the fluid can't you know settle down in there so i did that and uh it's it's uh it's a pain in the butt you know because you have to do it before you start swelling right so i'm in bed because you're horizontal, right? They say one of the ways to get rid of it is to buy one of these inversion tables, you know, where your, your feet are up here and you're hanging upside down. No, I'm kidding. But elevate your feet above your heart because then gravity will, you know, well, I, it's hard for me to lay on the love seat, you know, with my legs, you know, I don't know. It just, so, but these, and you guys, if you decide to do this, <laughs> Don't, and I had these in the trailer. Um, those of you that know my story, I'm retiring in a couple of years and I'm selling everything and going on the road full time. And I'm really glad I didn't knock the lava lamp off. Don't, and I had these in the trailer in my camper. Just, and don't buy the cheap self-adhesive bandages because they, they, they get gross and they're like disposable. You use them once and you throw them away. No, get the expensive ones. But then this morning, um, 
Compression socks. I had never heard of those before. I was just, you know, on Amazon. It's like, oh, well, I'll, duh. I don't have to sit there in bed and, like, try to, you know, do this. You know, and it's it's four in the morning on a Saturday. I went to bed at six, you know, so I got nine hours, right? So, um, yeah, but this edema, you guys, um, and neuropathy, you know, tingling in your fingers, you know, and in your toes, your feet. And I've told you before, my, my toes and my feet are numb because of this neuropathy. And so I'm like, I'm shuffling around the house, you know. And um, so now with these ACE bandages, now I'm like, so it's just a couple of videos ago, I said, you guys, I have four chemos left. And um, so it's been, well, two chemos after that. All right. So right now I've got four chemos left because I didn't have them in my calendar. So, um, yeah, so I've got, um, anyway, blah, blah, blah. It really doesn't matter, but just for the heck of it, uh, wait for it. Where is today? Okay, so I've got, uh, net, it's Saturday. So next Tuesday, another Tuesday, uh, and then I have a, a Zoom meeting with, uh, Blue Cross, uh, they're awesome. You guys, at work, I work for a local county government, all right? And we switched healthcare plans uh, this year, 2024, you know, January. And we switched over to Blue Cross um, from Health Partners, I think. Anyway, I looked at my billing. Blue Cross has paid out over $800,000. For me, holy cat skills, you know. Um, and I chose the most expensive plan, you know, per month. Glad I did, because um, it, you know, I just have a copay once in a while, you know, forty bucks here, you know, and my prescriptions are pretty cheap. So I'm really lucky um, to work for an employer that has, you know, really good healthcare insurance. So. Um, but man, and that's nine months of treatment. I talked to some other patients, you know, in the waiting room or whatever, and I just strike up a conversation somehow or whatever. And, um, somehow it comes up. I'm not violating HIPAA. All right. But I'll just ask questions. You know, I can't remember how it came up, but one of the guys I met, he's been doing this for like, he's been going through chemo or some kind of treatment. He didn't say what it was. Um, I don't think it was dialysis, but it was something else. But 20 years. I hope after my my last chemo, um, well then, last chemo, then a CT scan, then a meeting with my surgeon, then surgery January 5th, all right? And um, I was just, <laughs> okay, on a, on a funny side note, I was in a meeting uh, yesterday uh, with some tech people, all right, um, IT infrastructure servers and stuff, because I have two servers uh, that I'm in charge of that that run all of my stuff, all right, and so we were talking about, uh, we have a big, uh, not big, it's not that big a deal, but we're upgrading the operating system on both my servers, and so we were doing like timing and when do we notify the users and that type of thing? And so it was my boss, Carrie. Hey, Carrie, if you're watching. <laughs> and a uh, couple other tech guys, Victor and Gene. Yo, what up? Uh, but it was just really a fun meeting. And so um, I was talking about, I was just joking around. And it's like, you guys, it's, and I can't remember how it came up. I throw out these one-liners every once in a while. And it's like, you guys couple days ago, I figured out I lost all my eyelashes. <laughs> my eyelashes are gone, you know, because, you know, whatever. I mean, th this doesn't bother me. <laughs> and because, you know, well, I mean, not that long ago, I had really long eyelashes to the point where I had, well, I had before my chemo, I had to trim my eyelashes 
so they wouldn't rub on my on my glasses on the inside of my glasses <laughs> so i don't have to trim those anymore and gene brilliant guy just super high iq and uh both those guys and my boss too all three of them that i met with just very high iq and uh victor is just the nicest down to earth um if you were just to meet him, you just would have no idea how brilliant he is. You know, he I work with him on some tech stuff and whatever. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. So Gene is like, well, yeah, so I I, I sent you, did you, you said you were going to shoot a video with what I sent you. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I forgot. And uh, so Gene went on Amazon <laughs> and he bought me. So this is, Gene, this is for you. <laughs> and so... Gene sent me this from Amazon. <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, this is a this is a Mad Camper first. All right, you guys, we're gonna try it. I don't I don't know how wigs work. Like, there's got to be like a a way to do it. But um, so <laughs> all right, there we go. <laughs> Good day, eh? Yeah, you're such a hoser. <laughs> or Wayne's World. <laughs> so thanks, Gene. I got this at Amazon before I talked to you. And I, I'm like, what the? I did not order that. <laughs> so we laughed. And uh, anyway, so yeah. Um, yeah, my symptoms the last couple of weeks, you guys, have, excuse me, have been... Uh, just haven't felt good, all right? And it's not, it's not complaining. Barf. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Barf. Um, and it's not complaining. I'm just being real with you guys, right? And um, so, and let me, let me make a point. If you're new or if you're not new, um, and if you're having a bad day or you're struggling, all right, we have, we, it's not just me, it's we, have a really cool thing going on on the, on the community tab. So if you click on my face, you know, the, it'll bring you to the homepage and click on community and uh, you'll see tons of comments. People in the Mad Pack encouraging each other, all right? I accidentally created this really cool community. Best people on the planet. The Mad Pack, you guys know, and I say it all the time, you guys are the best, all right? So if you're struggling, leave a comment. Um, and, and don't, try not to be, don't worry about it sounding like you're complaining because you're not. It's just, it is what it is, right? Um, we want to encourage each other. So, um, yeah, if you're having a bad day, you're struggling, it's like you guys, especially, um, we have one person out there, shoot, I don't remember her name, but uh, she was recently diagnosed. And my last video just popped up on her YouTube feed, just random. And she, you know, watched the video. And so, yeah, she posted on there and she got tons of encouragement. Mad Pack, thank you. Thank you, thank you for the encouragement you give me and um, for the encouragement you give each other. It's just awesome, you guys. <clears throat> right? So, yeah. So, um, now, um, we talked about my diagnosis, blah, blah, blah. Let's talk about um, really quick. For those of you that don't know, if you're new, wait, hang on. Maybe this has cooled off a little bit by now. Uh, Poifit. Um, so, diabetes. Yeah, that's a lot of fun. So, metformin, all right, twice a day, 500 milligrams twice a day. Um, diabetes. Oh, and ooh. And this is really cool, you guys. Um I mean, nobody wants diabetes, right? But there's technology, because, you know, obviously I'm into tech, right? 
I've, I've said it before, but um, this little thing, all right, the uh, Dexcom G7, it's this little thing, and uh, you take alcohol and you clean, you clean your tricep, all right, you know, when you're doing your tricep push downs, you know, with something really heavy, you know, and you, you know, that's the muscle you're using right there. You know, if you have bat wings like I do, you know, you need to do more of those, you know, so, but anyway, this little thing, you, you unscrew it. It comes in a little, mm, here, it comes in this little mm, <laughs> blooper edit. It's this. All right, and you unscrew this, and there's this springy thing. I have to be careful so I don't shoot you with it, but there's a there's a needle in there. So you push this up onto your tricep, and you push the button, and it goes, you know, plink. I didn't do the sound effect right. <laughs> but yeah, it goes... And it doesn't hurt. It's just like doink. And then there's adhesive that, you know, and then this little tiny thing, it's it's about like that, all right? That's the transmitter. Then it's Bluetooth. So you get this app, this Dexcom app, and it monitors your blood sugar every five minutes, all right? And you can set a high range, a low range, and I've been sleeping and this thing wakes me up. Do, 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 do. Warning, warning, Will Robinson, danger, danger. <laughs> right, lost in space. But, so it'll warn you. So then, <laughs> it's uh, it's two days after Halloween, so I'm gonna go to Target and buy some candy on Clarence and just have a couple of little fun size snicker things next to my bed. So. If it goes too low, I take the Snickers pill, right? Doot, 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 and then, you know, so, um, yeah. Uh, it's, but the technology is really amazing. And if I, if I go out to the trailer or do something, doot, 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 you're out of range. You know, I can't read you anymore because you're out of Bluetooth range, right? So just really cool technology. And you have to change this thing every 10 days. So... When you get a new one, you scan the QR code on the transmitter, and that's how it communicates, you know, through Bluetooth. So, and it'll tell you, you've got 10 hours or 12 hours left on your transmitter. So you got to change that within a certain number of hours. So anyway, and then, yeah, insulin injection. So... And this, this doesn't hurt at all either. It's a tiny little needle. You probably can't see that, but yeah. So it goes in your belly. <laughs> um, not a big deal. I do that first thing in the morning, 30 units. And uh, if I see my blood sugar going, like if I eat, you know, pasta or something and it's really high, I'll do an extra injection of that. All right, so metformin oh um high blood pressure whatever so amlodipine um and then yes you guys are taking a multivitamin every day aren't you aren't you mm. and of course you know centrum silver you know i had a hard time figuring out which one to buy because you know uh, <laughs> i'm not i'm not silver anymore <laughs> So, um, yeah, so it's, I, you guys, I can't wait for the chemo to be done. For me, it's been okay. A lot of people are suffering way worse than me. And I say that all the time. No nausea ever. I've never had nausea. Um, some of you really, really have nausea. I'm sorry, that's, um, that's awful. Um, I can't imagine. I mean, throwing up is like really low on my list of fun things to do, right? Jeez. So, um, so yeah, my symptoms, 
fatigue, shuffling around the house. And um, you guys, it's been a while too, because to be honest, um, I figured something out. When I just lay around and do nothing, I feel worse. But when I get my butt off the couch and at least try to do something, sometimes it's scary, but sometimes um, I'll force myself. Uh, I could do laundry tomorrow. No, do it now. And, you know, I'm in a rambler. I'm in a very humble you know, 1958 Rambler with, you know, original red oak hard, hardwood, right? Right. So um, <clears throat> go downstairs and do laundry. Going down is a little sketchy because of, you know, uh, 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 holding onto the basket and the railing. It's like, uh, you know, we don't need an urgent care visit today, right? Um, but then coming back up, my quads are burning you know, coming back up the stairs because I'm, I'm very sedentary, um, sedimentary. Um, no, that's, that's geology. Uh, but so my advice is, and, and when I do that, when I do something, in fact, I went out and I slept in the camper in the trailer, 20 feet that way in my driveway. I'm like, I'm going to get outside. I'm going to go, I'm going to fire up the furnace because it gets down to like 45 degrees here in Minnesota. Um, and I'm going to sleep in the camper a couple nights. And so I'll fire up the furnace, you know, it's propane. <clears throat> Just get out, get outside. I'll go for a short walk in the backyard. I'll go out and get the mail. Sometimes that is a struggle. Just to go across the street and get my mail sometimes is a struggle and I feel bad because I don't want neighbors like watching me and you know oh man Gemma's like you know what I mean it's like I'm self-conscious about but it's okay um and Karen my my fantastic um great neighbor across the street she's been mowing my front yard um she's done it like four times because I literally don't have the strength to do it so I'll shuffle out to the mailbox and I kind of feel bad. It's like, I don't want the neighbors worrying about me. Right. Um, especially with my ACE bandages, like flopping around and stuff. But, um, the more active I am, the better I feel. All right. It's when I just lay around and do nothing. That's when I really feel bad. So you guys, if you, um, if you're going through treatment and you're feeling a lot of fatigue, Try something new. Um, do whatever you can. Get up, walk to the bedroom, walk to the kitchen, walk back. Or, you know, do some dishes a little bit. Then, you know, or if you're not quite as fatigued as I was, go for a walk. Not even around the block. Just go down to the end of the block and back. All right. Then around the block or a bike ride or something or go out in the backyard and build a fire because that takes a lot of energy right you're going to split the wood and do all that but once you get the fire going then just sit there and relax but just some ideas you guys just um and um in previous videos um and i haven't done it for a while but i'll go out and i'll set up my gopro and I'll record, you know, time lapse of the stars and stuff. Well, I haven't done that for a while. I haven't been outside for a while. So, um, sorry, edit. So I haven't been outside for a while. And so that's why I was feeling so crummy the last, you know, couple of weeks. So, but lately I've been forcing myself to get up and do stuff, even though my ankles are like tight, right? So, um, anyway, uh, I think I'm going to cut this off. Um, I had a list of things somewhere. Uh, oh, um, one other thing. <laughs> one of the benefits of chemo is I have saved a ton of money on hair product. All right. <laughs> and this is just, you know, at, this is after the shower when I'm like doing my styling. All right. <laughs> And that's not even the shampoo. But anyway, so 
there there are benefits to chemo all right you can save some money so <laughs> so um jean thank you <laughs> i'm gonna wear this to aldi next time uh <laughs> So I got to go, you guys. Um, thanks for being here. And if you're new, welcome. And um, feel free to drop a comment. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. All right. Have a good day, you guys. It's, uh, it's five o'clock. So, all right. Um, bye.